welcome. Nose News episode five. Grand old fifth episode. It's a big deal. Um, it's kind of just another news day. I don't have any bits planned for today. No bits. Just kind of. I got notes because I got so many things and I didn't want to forget. So let us get started, shall we? Okay. So first bit of news. Get out of the way. Stranger Things season four wave two Funko Pops. I don't. They're whatever. There's the comments here. Give it a second. For editing purposes, I'm doing this so I, I know when to put the picture. And bam! Exclusives. It's whatever. And back to comments. Because just, they're so boring. It's like, I don't want any of them. I mean, I, I don't have any Stranger Things ones. But, you know, I'm not going to now. And I want to take a special look at the Vecna. Cause that's disgusting. Who approved that? I'm looking at it too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's gross. It's like I get he's supposed to look gross, but that's just a terrible interpretation. Cause in the show he's very tentacle slimy, and this is just pasty red beef jerky in the mouth, because they don't have mouths, there's just like the weird paint. It's whatever. No more fucking pops. Onto movie news. Some movie news. The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, which got announced forever ago. Seth Rogen's producing it. The person that directed The Mitchells vs. The Machines for Netflix is directing this. It's animated. It got a title and a release date today. It's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. August 4th, 2023. So I'm excited about that. Because Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What is not to love about that? Here's the picture they showed. <clears throat> or a picture of them announcing the title. Second bit of movie news. Joker 2 got officially announced. Has some weird French name. And this one has Lady Gaga in it as Harley Quinn. And it's a musical. Um, I haven't watched the first one. And I don't really plan on it. Because I, I don't care. I kind of want to watch the first one. So then I can watch it and decide if I like it or not. But I really hope I just don't. Because everyone's like, this is the greatest movie of all time. And I'm like... I don't I don't know how that movie made a billion dollars. But I can almost guarantee you this one isn't. Because it's a musical. Which I'm not saying is bad. But it's, it's not a lot of people are going to be like, I love... Let me phrase it like this. The people that liked The Joker probably don't like musicals. That like vast, that big chunk of people you know what i'm talking about but that's october october that is october 4th 2024 second bit of movie news prey and bullet train released tomorrow august 5th i should be watching prey tomorrow night we're still not sure about bullet train but prey debuted on rotten tomatoes with a critic score of 91 percent which is really good for a predator movie because i don't i can't I don't know what the original um, Predator's critic score is, but every Predator after that, I'm pretty sure, is rotten. What I've heard about this one is it's just person fights Predator, brutal kills. No grand story, because every Predator movie, they're like, well, we have to do something else. What's There's nothing interesting anymore about an alien that just comes to Earth and fights people. Uh, and so that's why the Predator was really bad. The newest one, that movie sucks. Predator 2 is fine. Um, Predators from 2010. I was excited to watch that. A lot of people were like, this is like one of the best Predator movies ever. I love this movie. And I got like 30 minutes into it and I was like, that was my reaction. Like, it's just garbage. It's so bad. Like the, It's like a bunch of convicts. I don't know how it ends, but they're like, they get show up on the Predator planet and they're all like, how did we get here? And this dude's like, uh... I did gross things to women, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that happened. Or they just, dude was just creeping around a woman the whole time, and it's just garbage. It's such a garbage movie, and I generally don't know how people like it. This X symbolizes movie news. Excuse me. You get to watch me drink, because my throat's shy. Now that we're done with movie news, and those ugly Funko Pops... 
Mario Kart DLC came out today. And it's it was really good. I think it's way better. The last one was good. This one's way better. So I have a list here. So I'm getting ahead of myself. There's the Turnip Cup and the Propeller Cup. I I didn't write down what is in what cup. Four tracks per cup. It doesn't matter. I have them ranked here. I have them ranked worst to best. So we're going to go worst. I also have footage. I know. I have footage from each track that I recorded because I just clipped it. But we're going to go. I'm going to go down the list. Ranked worst to best. So the my least favorite track is it's kind of a tie eighth and seventh. I both kind of don't like. So eighth. Here, let's roll the footage, and then I'll talk about it. So here is number eight, Mario Kart Circuit 3 from the SNES. We're back, but right at the end of the, before I rolled the footage, my mom walked in. So the secret's out. Uh, I've recorded, I usually record after they go to sleep, just because, mm, and I didn't, I didn't because I had this big Mario Kart list, but, excuse me, we must prevail. Society wins. <clears throat> so that was, getting back on track, excuse me, that was, God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Mario Kart Circuit 3. It's boring. It's You can just see it. It's from the Super Nintendo, so it's from the very first Mario Kart game. And it, it's Mario Circuit 3. I, I mean, it's pretty incomparable to Mario Circuit 1 and 2, but uh, it's just boring. I mean, it's, it's a good track just to boo, drive on. It's whatever. It's not... I want to say it's... It's bad. It's just <clears throat> visually and layout e boring. It's just me. So number seven, which is also tied with number eight. I don't really know which one I like less. This one's so much. This one's boring. The next one's just bad. I don't know really how you'd rank them as worse. But it's Snowland from the Game Boy Advance. So roll the footage. And to you, I will pass me. Yep. I'm sorry. Roll the footage, go! Okay, so you can see how everything's frozen over, right? All the roads are frozen. And so when you're driving on it, it's like a constant slippery effect. The whole track. And so uh, we were playing on 150cc, and it's just so, like, it slows it down because the traction is bad on the wheels. And I don't know why it's like that. Why couldn't it just be like, unfreeze the roads, only have the slippery part when you're on the ice with the penguin? I don't remember. Uh how much the clip shows but right before you get you complete a lap at the finish line you're in this big lake make that frozen and make all the roads just normal and it would have been so much better but like the slippery effect and it, the traction's weird and it, the slippery isn't bad but it's so slow and then you go to turn and your guy just you know so number seven next on my list Number six, Sydney Sprint from Mario Kart Tour, the mobile game. Gotta get my remote ready. Roll the footage, go!
welcome back. That was Sydney Sprint. It's from the mobile game. The mobile game as a game. The mobile game had really good tracks. Like, because it was just different locations and stuff. And it's just... Let me... I'm complaining about the game. It's just... It was so pay to win. I Nobody really plays it anymore because it's like... You have to get gems and then spins. And some characters were just way better than others. And that's not really the point of Mario. Like, in Mario Kart 8, the customization, it's like... You can have really bad or really good. But in this game, it was like... If you... Different characters had like stat levels and it was stupid. So all these really good courses got locked behind a really bad game. And now this course is in a console game, and it's a good course. It's a good track. I would like to say I don't hate any of these courses besides Snowland. That one probably is 8th, but it's just kind of a tie. Like Mario Kart Series 3 is just boring. Sydney Sprint, it's cool. You, you go through the Opera House. And my favorite thing about like all the tour courses is it, it changes. So the first lap, you go straight through the Opera House. Then the second lap, you go across a boat, and then the third lap, you like, you come through the opera house and you finish backwards from how you started. It's so like the race starts like this, and you go this way. Then the final lap, you come in and finish like this. That's cool. It's a good track. Solid sixth place compared to the others. Now, number five, Calamari Desert from Nintendo 64. Go, roll the footage. Yeah. Welcome back. You caught me in deep thought there. Calamari Desert is cool. It was from Nintendo 64. The first game I played it was in Mario Kart 7 for the 3DS. That's the only time I played it. And my lips are chapped. Water break. Chapstick break. It's a good course, I like it. It's kind of boring. In the 3DS version in the Nintendo 64, the train was like so long. So if you didn't reach, there's like a bit, right at the start of the course, you go over the railroad tracks. And if you didn't reach that fast enough, you'd have to sit there for like 10 to 15 seconds while this train just, and it keeps going, and it keeps going, and it keeps going, you know, never ends. And then the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, this new re-release, the train's much shorter. It's like, you know, it's much easier. And I like the part in the second lap. You So the first lap, you go all the way around. The second lap, you go all the way around, and then it cuts you off, and you have to go through the train tracks in this tunnel. And then, like, halfway through the train track tunnel, it switches from lap two to three. And then you just, you pass the finish line in the tunnel. Mmm, that's what it is. So you go through the tunnel and you pass the finish line marker because it kind of just shoots across. And then you go out of the tunnel, finish lap three. It's cool. I like how, kind of like how the Mario Kart Tour ones, even though it's older, you just kind of go through it and there's like different paths. So solid number five, correct? Yes, five. So number four, we have New York Tour from... God, I'm sorry, guys. I... New York Minute, New York Minute, from Mario Kart Tour. So, roll the footage. That was the footage. Um, it's a good track. I really like this one. I kind of more like the scenery. I mean, that is the track, right? It's this one, you... There are a couple different turns. No. I'm trying to remember. Don't... For this one, this track only, don't take my word for it. But the first tr First... 
I don't know, man. The first lap, normal. You just, woo, you know? Excuse me. Um, and then the second lap, you go underneath a bridge. Ah, you finish it. And then, okay, the second and the first. Start fresh. Erase everything from your mind. First lap, normally. Go all the way around the track. It's cool. Second lap might be normal. You might go under a bridge. Third lap, you go under a bridge. Maybe. And then you end by, like, going in this weird, like, red carpet sub. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Hollywood movie entrance. I don't know. You might be able to see it at the end of that clip. You might have seen it. My memory sucks. It's been, a, like, an hour or two since I played them. Hour and a half to two hours. But that I really like this one. It's really good. And now, that was number four. So we're going into the top three. The top three tracks. And these ones are, like, fantastic. So... Up next, we have Waluigi Pinball from Nintendo DS. And we're rolling the footage to you. That's me rolling it out of my head into the camera. I, what can I say, I'm a genius. Go, watch that. And we're back. Uh, it's a really good course. I mean, it's very colorful. So the first bit of the track, you're like in the pinball shoot and you get shot out. And for like the first, I'd say 75%, like, excuse, for like, trying to do the math in my head, like 85% of the course, you're in the pinball shoot. From the finish, or this, okay. Where you start, you're in like the pull back spring and then you go through this huge light up tunnel and then you land on like the rails for the pinball you know and you're just following it and it's all twisty turvy twisty curvy and you go all around it and then you drop down onto the actual pinball machine you know like the flippers and the pinballs are coming at you and they're like bouncing everywhere and you're probably on that for like 15 15 20 seconds which may this i'm guessing you're not on it for very long but it's pretty cool and like when you get item boxes it makes like a slot machine noise so like it change the noise is different from the normal dice block noise and just the music's really nice you can probably hear it in that also i'd like to clarify before we continue um i played with my brother so when it's switching between the two like characters you see the most it's me and him so, the first, some of the tracks, I'm Bowser, and he's Baby Rosalina. And some of the tracks, I'm King Boo, and he's Normal Rosalina. I don't think I got that mixed up, but I'm Bowser and King Boo, he's Rosalina and Baby Rosalina, so that's why it's, the camera's moving between those two, specifically. Um, or he's one of the babies, and then an, an adult. I mean, you'll know, whichever one it focuses on that isn't Bowser or King Boo. But this one's really fun. Music's nice. It's very colorful and bright and flashy. and It's all good. All good stuff. So thumbs up. Next for number two is Sky High Sunday. And this one's brand new. They just threw this in. This is a brand new track. Never before seen. So please enjoy. That was some good footage. Where's it back? My chair is so like. You hear that? It's whatever. That's why I gotta sit still. Sky High Sunday is fantastic. Oh my god. Like, I love this track so much. Like, I feel like out of all the new ones, it might be. Not like out of every course in the game. I mean, like, out of all the new Mario Kart 8 courses, I have some very favorite ones, but this one might be at the top for new tracks because it's fantastic. Like, it's very, everything's very narrow. 
and everything's made out of ice cream and wafers and stuff. And you're in zero gravity the whole time, so it's very bouncy. So you hit a bounce and you're like, you know, and it's just nuts, man. It's such a good track. Like, I love it. I love it so much. Look, when you start, you go through the ice cream cone and you land on a helipad. There's like these, the one thing I don't understand is in some bits of the course, there's like blue stairs with these yellow handlebars. So the first time I saw them, I was like, oh, you just pick a side, avoid the handlebars. And it's not, you can just drive straight through the handlebars and it gives you like an anti-gravity boost. Like how in the airport level, when you loop around, I mean, in some of the anti-gravity sections of levels, there's those things in the middle of the road and you hit them and they spin and you get a boost. It's like those, but they're just bright orange guardrails. I thought that was weird because you literally just drive straight through them. It's like driving through a metal pipe. That's what it looks like. So that's weird. But it's a really good track. I got sidetracked. There's a, a ghost I can see out of my eyes. Um, I, I love it. Like, I don't think I can explain it enough. So if you, you know, if you have access to Mario Kart 8, spend $25. Get the DLC because you get the eight previous tracks. This eight, and they're releasing eight every couple of months. There's, like, four more waves. Right? Yes, four more waves of eight tracks. And if you don't spend $300 and get a Switch, buy Mario Kart for $60 and then buy the $25 DLC. I feel like it's worth it just for this track. I love it. And Mario Kart 8 is a fantastic game. So I'm doing hand motions and you cannot see them because they're down here. Right below camera. Nothing inappropriate happening down there. Um, anyways, next. Number one on my list, which I talked about in the last episode or the previous, is my favorite track. My second favorite. No, this is my favorite track. Everyone's like, Coconut Mall. This is my Coconut Mall from Nintendo Wii. Mushroom Gorge at number one. Great to see it. And now you get to see it. Roll the footage. So for this part, I was gonna come, I was gonna come over, but I can't because of my desk. So just pretend that happened, and we're back. Hello, I just sat back down. You haven't heard me yet. Mushroom Gorge, it's just a fantastic course. It's so great. I just look at the smile on my face. It's genuine. Okay, good track, really good track. I'd say great track. It's just a classic. I mean, the mushrooms. Like when you first start, when I was a kid, I'd always go on the bouncy mushrooms. Because I thought the left was just some, like, it'd slow you down. But it doesn't slow you down. It's just not as cool. And this is a, this is quite a challenging course. Because depending on your character's weight, when you're in the big cave, sometimes you just hit a mushroom and just get sent into the abyss. And the only, the only difference of the whole track is in that cave, there's a big blue mushroom in the middle. And when you hit that, it just activates your glider, which obviously wasn't there because gliders are brand new for Mario Kart 8. So that's the only difference, visible, like, complete track we work, rework difference. But the music is the exact same. And that's the only thing I wanted, because it plays. You heard it. The music is... Chef Kiss. I, like, one of the best video game tracks of all time, I might even add. That's not true. There's some really good video game music out there. But this is up there. It's on my list. It's on my personal list. This is my... I don't know any good video game music. I should remove this poster. Let me know, is that distracting? Cause I can move this, cause it's like paper, cause I got it out of a magazine. I'm getting off topic, but you see how this isn't, and that is, is that distracting? Cause it's kind of right there. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below, please. Actually, let me know. I need to know if you see that and you just get distracted by it, cause I'll move it. I have so much room, like right there, you can't see it. But yeah, just let me know, please. Anyways. Mushroom Gorge, two chefs kiss. To you. And that's it. Those are all the tracks. That's my ranking. Eight through one. And I really enjoy this DLC. I feel like in the last DLC, a lot of main complaints from people was a lot of... It looked... For Mario, it looked very cartoony. Like, the just the tracks. I don't know how to explain it, but like... 
but it was just everything was very flat and cartoony just single colored but not like how you're thinking just think normal mario kart but you just notch it down like it's just the visuals weren't as good as normal mario kart it was a very noticeable difference and this one i think they improved it i mean the visuals that some of the visuals in the normal mario kart 8 tracks are like really good and they're not as good in this one but they're a major improvement over last is that reflecting too it's just this okay i'm sorry it is reflecting but yeah it's just a big gap in a big gap of goodness and quality in this one it was all good and i just it was really good i enjoyed this dlc immensely so thank you for watching guys uh that's all i got Tomorrow, Prey comes out, so I'll probably watch that, and I want to do a big movie episode with Bullet Train, but I don't know if I'm going to go see it, so if I don't, if I don't know about Bullet Train tomorrow, I'm just going to make the Prey episode, because I want to watch that movie, and I want to talk about it, so I got a notification, I'm sorry, because I'm recording on my cell phone. Thank you for watching, I'm not dragging this out. Prey tomorrow. Um... No, no really big news events, really. Maybe Bullet Train Tuesday. If there's any big movie news, you'll hear. Now that, I mean, I'm kind of thinking about it. Nothing big's really up and coming. This is going to be a long episode, too. Welcome to my longest episode, the end of. I kind of knew it was going to be this long to begin with, but. <clears throat> we got one more planned episode, maybe two planned episodes. And then it slows down content comes to a screeching halt and people will think I died. That's not true. I have school next Thursday. Um, my condolences to all of you who sat through this whole thing. Thank you. <clears throat> I take my condolences back. You get my thanks. Excuse me. <clears throat> and we're back. Yeah, thank you. I did drag it out an extra minute. I always do. But what's the fun in just ending it? This is my outro. All this extra garbage. Let me know if that's distracting, please, because it's bothering me now, if it bothers you. I'll move it, because it's paper and it's, I don't care. I can replace it with a different poster or nothing at all. And thank you. I love you, and I'll see you around. Pray tomorrow, maybe. It didn't... <laughs>